Hello learners, welcome to Ahmad Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we will study about ethylene plant hormone. This hormone performs various functions in the plant. It inhibits stem growth, notably during physiological stress. It means that it is going to stop the growth of stem. And during the physiological stress means that maybe there is a lack of water or food and it is going to stress the plant and in response to that stress the stem growth is stopped. Similarly, it also inhibits root growth. It breaks the bud dormancy. Dormancy is a process in which the plant marriage stems become mostly inactive to withstand the harsh environmental pressure. For example, the water is not available, the, the environmental condition is not there, the soil is not there. So in this case, the seed is going to undergo a process which is known as dormancy. But when you are going to provide all these conditions, the, stem, the seed is going to grow into a plant. So it is going to allow the bud to grow into a plant. Similarly, it is going to promote the flowering in the pineapple. Here you can see this is a pineapple and the flowers they have grown because of the ethylene hormone. Similarly, it is going to promote the fruit ripening. Ripening is a process which causes the plants, uh, which causes the fruit to become more palatable. Palatable means that they are sweet and they are soft and you can enjoy its taste. Um, it also causes uh, the abscission. Abscission is the shedding of leaf. When the oxygen is not present, the ethylene is going to affect and then it is going to break down the leaf. There are many commercial applications of ethylene. For example, it is going to induce flowering in the plant, uh, pineapple. It's going to stimulate the ripening of tomatoes and citrus fruits. Citrus fruits means lemon, tangerines, oranges. So it is going to stimulate their ripening. It is going to make them sweet and soft. Then there are some commercial applications in which the ethyphone is going to break down into ethane when it is going to enter in the plant. And when it is applied to the rubber plant, it is going to stim stimulate the latex flow. Here you can see this is a, a rubber plant and this white milky material here it is the latex. And this latex uh, flow is stimulated by the ethylene. So that was all about ethylene plant hormone. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video.